Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to MST.TV. This is Nishi here and I am excited to bring you guys today a box opening for the newest set, Legendary Duelist Magical Hero. This is a really exciting set, not only because of like the really expensive chase cards in the set, like Elemental Hero Liquid Soldier and Magician Souls, but there's also a lot of really cool like common and rare reprints that I'm thinking are gonna add a lot of value to what we pull. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into it. All right, so obviously, um, in terms of cards that I really wanna highly prioritize pulling, uh, Liquid Soldier and Magician Soul are at the top of the list because they kind of like make up the most value back. Um, but I mean, the other cards like Sunriser, uh, the Dark Magicians, like those are really cool. So uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. All right, so we'll start off slow at the beginning and kind of look at some of the lower rarity cards in here. So Doppel Warrior, not bad. Tuning, tuning as a common reprint I think is really, really underrated. I would be setting all of these aside if you do pull them. A Hero Lives, another good one, and <laughs> right off the bat we have an Ultra Rare. We have Favorite Hero, which is uh, you know, not one of the better cards in the set in terms of Ultra Rares. It is an uh, Elemental Hero Equip spell, but I mean, it's okay. <laughs> I would have much preferred like Soul Servant or something cool like that, but you know, it is what it is. All right, um, Excel Synchron. Maybe this card will be used when uh, Needle Fiber comes out, maybe. Time Gazer. Number F0 Utopic Future. I remember when this was like a really important card uh, in Burning Abyss to beat Cosmo because you could steal their Dark Destroyer. Oh, and Apprentice Illusion Magician. This is a really good super rare reprint, actually. Uh, and uh, Performo Pal Popper Up. This card's kind of interesting. It's like a magical mallet of sorts, but it gets the cards into the grave. Uh, Apprentice Illusion Magician. I still remember when this card was like only available as a jump promo and everyone kind of freaked out. And I think there was like over a hundred dollars or something ridiculous like that. And uh, yeah, so that was kind of cool. Uh, Winged Karibo. Smile Action. Jet Sync Run. Uh, this is a good card to set aside. Uh, it does have a common reprint in one of the OTS packs though. <laughs> and Synchro Chase. Okay, so we have another Ultra there again. Unfortunately, not one of the really good ones, but that is okay. It's still an ultra rare. I think we pull typically about five ultra rares from what I've seen. So hopefully that's just two of the not as great ones and we still have a chance to pull Liquid Soldier or Magician Soul. Uh, Secrets of Dark Magic is a really cool card. I like the art on that. It looks kind of nice. All right, so three hollows in the first four packs or so. Maybe this is a box where every pack is gonna have a hollow. <laughs> Who knows? Um, Winged Karibo, Magician's Rod, A Hero Lives, great card, and Quick Draw Synchron. Magician of Dark Illusion is uh, very necessary, like it was only available before as a super rare. I think it had the tin reprint as well, but it was getting a little bit up there for like one of those, you know, less important super rares, I suppose. Uh, next up, Chronograph. This looks really weird as a common. <laughs> like. I, I think the card's only ever been ultra or super rare, so common chronograph looks kind of weird. This also looks really weird as a common too, but Cosmic Blazar Dragon. Uh, Dark Magician Girl. I actually really like this Dark Magician Girl art. I just think it's kind of met as a common as well. Um, smile action and what does that say? Dodo Dodd Wharf Go 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 Glove. Go 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 Glove. <laughs> That is like the most confusing card name that I've ever seen. Oh my god. Um, it's worse than like Interplanetary Purpley Thorny Dragon, because at least that one you can kind of say. Uh, Performer Pal Dimension. Dark Magical Circle. Another really weird common card, but like, I guess. I can play budget Dark Magicians or something. Uh, Supreme King's Arc. I guess you can't play budget Dark Magicians with Magician Souls, but whatever. Oh, and another Apprentice Illusion Magician. That's really cool. I mean, like, of all of the super rares that I want to pull in the set, I think at the top of the list is this card, and then also the uh, Performa Pal Celestial Magician. I think that Pendulum card is, like, super good. Uh, I think it basically can, like, as a thought your opponent or something crazy like that. Performa Pal Pendulum Sorcerer. Uh, this card also looks weird as common. It's only available before this as, like, a secret and a super rare, I believe. Uh, Onomatopera, Illusion Magic. I can't believe this is a common. I was really hoping that they were going to take 
uh, the Legendary Duelist set as a chance to reprint this as a super rare, but I guess we're going to have to wait until like an OTS pack or something. And uh, Harmonizing Magician and Magician Navigation. Eh, not bad. Yeah, Harmonizing Magician was a pretty interesting choice to include as a common uh, halfway to forever skyscraper. I haven't seen this card in forever. Spiral Flame Strike. Uh, go, 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 Giant. And Future Drive. I've never been too big on those, uh, like, go, 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 or ga, 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 like that whole archetype. But, uh, you know, maybe I'll take a look at some of the cards here. Uh, Miracle Fusion. Pendulum Dimension. Excel Synchron, and Junk Converter. Okay, this card's not bad. It's kind of interesting. It's like uh, you can discard it and a tuner to add a Synchron from your deck to your hand. There's that crazy named card again. I guess we'll... It's a hollow, so we'll put that over here. It's kind of glary. Let's put it down a little bit. All right. Aqua Dolphin. Oh, this is a pretty interesting uh, card to include as a common. Well, I mean, the ultra rares, they were like 3 to $4 for a while. And then I think uh, they kind of tanked in value because the Assault Engine isn't seeing as much play with like Neo Space Connector and everything. Excel Synchron and Gagaga Ga, Ga, Samurai. I remember when this card was really important in a uh, Gagaga Ga, Ga, Samurai. That was in Zodiacs, I believe, because you needed to make Gagaga Ga, Ga, Samurai in order to push for damage. Um, Illusion Magic, Cosmic Blazar Dragon, Chronograph, Doppel Warrior, and. What is up with these card names, guys? Uh, Zubababancho Gaga Ga Coat. What the actual heck is up with these cards? Like, I kind of want to make the deck just because of the card names, and it would take forever for me to announce what card effect I was activating. But <laughs> that's okay. Uh, Winged Karibo and Skyscraper again. Scrap Iron Signal. Oh, they actually have a counter trap for those scrap iron cards i know um that card scrap iron scarecrow i used to think that card was broken because i didn't know that like you couldn't activate a trap the turn it was set like that like i thought you could flip it and then use it right away so that was kind of cool um jet synchron miracle fusion harmonizing magician illusion magic and a uh, magician of dark illusion not bad come on I'm just waiting on one of those two big cards. Time Gazer, Utopic Future, Winged Karibo, Ooh. Magician's Rod, Odd Eyes Wizard Dragon. I guess that's kind of combining like the Odd Eyes and the Pendulum Magician archetypes, I suppose. I don't know. All right. Uh, we have Chronograph, Cosmic Blazer, Dark Magician Girl, and uh, Magistry Alchemist. Oh, I haven't actually seen this card before. Banish four hero monsters from your graveyard and or face up on your field, then target one hero monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, ignoring its summoning conditions. You can also double its attack and negate the effects of all face up mo cards your opponent controls. Uh, I mean, you have to banish an earth, water, fire, and wind. So I guess that's like Clayman, Bubble Man, Burst into Tricks, and Avion or something. I don't know, probably not something that you're going to be able to make, like, super consistently or anything like that. But, that is okay. If you're playing those, like, fun heroes, then yeah, go for it. Tuning, still good. Go, 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 Giant, Magician's Rod, and Soul Servant! Okay, alright, that is a really good pull, actually. Uh, Soul Servant is one of the new cards in the Dark Magician archetype that I think makes the deck, like, really, really strong, right? Like, you can top deck uh anything from your deck or your hand or your field or your graveyard or something like that yeah hand deck or graveyard uh so that you can draw it during the next turn or if you have the dark magician's fusion then you can uh draw and then set the card that you top deck right away uh so yeah definitely like a really cool card my friend uh dustin actually wants to play that deck so i i think i now have two copies actually so maybe i'll look at trading those to him or maybe i'll just build the dark magician deck before he does <laughs> magician's combination oh man you're killing me here <laughs> so this is uh one of the dark magician cards that isn't as uh great to pull because it's i mean it's just not as expensive it's not as useful in the deck but i mean it's still a cool card 
I mean, if I want to collect all the Dark Magician stuff, then it's something I'll have to have, but just not one of like the chase money cards in the set, I suppose. Topic Future, Halfway to Forever, Pensork, Magician of Dark Illusion. I was actually at Locals earlier with a, a couple friends of mine because we had a Speed Duel tourney, which is pretty cool. Like, Speed Duel tourneys on Thursdays was a pretty great idea. Cell Synchron. And uh, I actually did manage to pull a, uh, what's it called? Magician Soul. So that was really cool, actually. I bought. 20 packs because we were just having some fun and yeah i managed to pull it so i think i used up all my luck there i wish i opened those packs on camera instead but ah uh, that is okay let's see what we can pull here quick draw come on so we're at four ultra rares i'm really hoping we can pull that like fifth ultra rare chronograph blazer here lives dodo -do -do buster but it is not looking too great so far um dark magician one Kribo. oh <laughs> i mean like uh, i guess i can't even be mad about about that like we pulled the satellite where we got five ultra rares um just none of them were really like the chase ultra rares but that's okay like satellite warrior i think is still like a really good card i'm really big on the way that synchrons are looking after we get the master rule adjustment in april uh i think that what's it called uh junk speeder the one that pulls like as many different synchrons as you can with different levels out of the deck i think that card is absolutely insane so i'm really hoping that we can use this card to like blow up your opponent's entire board nothing there uh, and then like potentially go for games so I'm really excited to see what happens with that deck. Uh, obviously, like, future. Obviously, before, um, synchros were, like, really, really negatively affected by the introduction of links, right? Because you had to consolidate your resources into synchro monsters, but you also had to consolidate resources into the link monsters. And the link monsters can't flow into synchros. And it really was, like, difficult for the deck to operate. Oh, Generation Next. I really like this card art. Um, I believe that the art here is from the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX anime. Um, like, the opening song. So, I think that's really cool. I'm probably actually going to, like, find a bunch of those and have them, like, cover a few pages in a binder or something. I think they're really nice. Oh, yes, this is the card. Uh, Performapel Celestial Magician. This card is, honestly, like, I think this card's really nutty. Like, the fact that if you just, like, control another Synchro, you get to, like, basically put your opponent under as a thought. And, you know, I think this I think this card's just, like, really, really good. I think it's going to be a staple in Pendulum decks moving forward. You know, if I guess if we get to see, like, Pendulum decks actually do something, um, because they are still, like, restricted by... Um, like having to have link zones opened up for them in order for you to pendulum summon them out of the extra deck but yeah I don't know I'm hoping that there is still gonna be like some sort of good pendulum archetype I think the pendulum mechanic is really cool obviously it was way too broken before but I've had a lot of fun with the different pendulum decks also <laughs> one time I tried pendulum summoning uh, I was playing pendulum magician but I kind of forgot <laughs> I tried Pendulum Summoning without scales, and- OH! OH NO WAY! ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! <laughs> HOLY! Okay. Are you kidding? Holy- Okay, that is- No way! I'm- My mind is just like blown right now. That's six Ultra Rares in the same box. That's insane! Okay. <laughs> wow, and that's like one of the best, like the second best ultra rare in terms of value to pull. Elemental Hero Liquid Soldier. Holy. That is just like a godly box. That's one, two, three, four, five, six supers and six ultra rares. I thought we were done. What the heck? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> no way. I'm so glad that, uh, we decided to record this opening. That's actually insane. I don't know. Maybe I I want to get seven, but like I don't. I mean, I can't even be mad about it at this point. 
Holy! <laughs> wow, I'm still kind of like in shock about that. Okay. <laughs> All right. We gotta calm down a little bit here, guys. <laughs> Magician of Dark Illusion. Okay, and... No, Aqua Dolphin. I think that should just about do it. We have two packs left. Can we pull something broken? I don't know. I think, like, this box is already, like, really, really great as it is. Like, I don't see too many... Oh, honestly, wow. Holy, guys, that is some insane value that we got out of this box. Like, Elemental Hero, Honest Neos. Honest Neos was, like, a pretty good reprint to include here, I think. Like, it only had the two reprints before, one in Duelist Saga and then one in the Battles of Legend. And uh, it was kind of, like, inching up there as, like, a six to seven dollar card because it only had like the two printings and they were reasonably hard to pull so you know good choice to include here all right guys last pack if this is magician soul i'm gonna lose my crap but i don't think so all right let's see supreme king's arc ga 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 samurai tuning it is an effect monster oh just the dark magician girl and scrap iron signal okay <laughs> Well, that is it for this opening, guys, but holy crap, did we do amazing for this box. We pulled one, two, three, four, five, six ultra rares, which is like actually just ridiculous. <laughs> and obviously headlined by Elemental Hero Liquid Soldier. That's really, really cool. And then we also pulled like a really good like seven super rares. And we got like two of the Apprentice Illusion Magicians, one Honest Neos, and a Celestial Magician. So that's like all of the super rares that I wanted. I mean, like I would have liked to pull two more Celestial Magicians, but you know, like six ultra rares, seven super rares. You really can't complain about pulling that well. So um, yeah, that is it for this opening, guys. I'm really glad that I got to record this for you guys. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the opening, please be sure to slam that thumbs up button for me. And uh, if you guys want to see more videos from Tombox and myself, if you guys enjoyed doing uh, or seeing the opening like this, please be sure leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are also pulling from your boxes as well. Hopefully you guys are all pulling broken like this. Like I hope all of you guys pull boxes of just like that all have magician souls in them. Um, but yeah, uh, also make sure that you subscribe to myself and to Tombox. If you guys want to see more openings just like this, hopefully our future openings are just like this. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll uh, also be getting a ban list next week on Monday and back to like our regularly scheduled market watch and all of the other different videos that Tombox and myself bring to you guys each and every week. And uh, yeah, so until next time, guys, don't forget to hold on to your MST.TV.